here. What is your thoughts on The Rock finally making his comeback to the WWE after several years? And what do you think about the whole context about why he came back in the first place? It's a uh, it's clearly forced. I don't think he ever wanted to actually you know go all out. <laughs> In terms of wrestling ever again, I think he yeah. had every intention to, at most, just show his face, say hi, and keep it moving. So the fact that he's actually doing a bit of wrestling, yeah, it's it's honestly because his his image is definitely depreciated. And it's not even just this whole Maui thing, even though that's like, that's like the real situation that really blew up in his face. But it, it's been for a lot of things. I mean, look at the whole thing with um, DC, Warner Brothers. Like, there's a lot of weird stuff going on there that didn't exactly make him look good. Then, you know, the other um, situations in which you were talking about in which he t- he decided to take political stances. And um, that was pretty – it definitely caught a lot of people off guard because prior to um, this most recent, like, you know – few years he didn't really take political stances i don't recall him ever um putting his you know his his foot in the ring when it comes to anything politics until like what past four or so years so the fact that he was willing to go there it's naturally going to you know make your fan base look at you like what the heck i mean some people are you know believe in his views and then other people obviously are gonna be like well no go fuck yourself we're tired of hearing people um constantly talk about this and so it's just weird that he he has changed um relatively recently or perhaps he's shown his colors but i think that um with the current way you know um, of the world particularly um in american politics a lot of people have you know shown their true face but you know that was hidden behind a mask for so long and, um, i think that a lot of the powers that be recognize that we're not we can't go back to the way that it was we can't unsee all the shit that we've seen and i think that a lot of people in power they they know that and they're scared because too many people recognize um what what the world is as of right now and then there's you know those people that that will cheer when the rock shows his face and all that shit um, despite the whole Maui situation, and that's what we're seeing too. And you have those people that are always be, you know, the idiots, I guess, of society. And it is what it is on that front. But um, I mean, Brock is just the rock at this point. I don't really hold any um, stock in the dude. I, he's going to go get what he wants at the end of the day. And that's all everyone, all these people seem to give a shit about, clearly, because um, they're willing to literally just use an enormous strategy uh, for their financial advantage. So with that, he can go fuck himself. I do want to point this out. JAC mentioned uh, the last time The Rock wrestled a proper match was WrestleMania 29 in 2013. So we are talking 10 years ago here when he was like 41. And he wrestled a match against John Cena. I think he tore his quad in the in that uh, match. And he hasn't wrestled a proper match in WWE since. And part of the reason why is because when he got injured during that match, he delayed uh, that film he did, Hercules, uh, 10 years ago, which was awful, by the way. But because because of that, Hollywood has had like written in contracts that you know he can't do pro wrestling and do movies because he does so many many movies. If he gets hurt doing a wrestling match for WWE, then it's going to delay his filming months. So there's been the whole thing about that too. This is why John Cena, even though he comes back occasionally, he can't really do like the John Cena matches that we saw like five years ago because you no, know, he has to go back to the film set, so he can't afford to get hurt. So he'll just give you like a half ass like house show style match instead of giving you know, the fans what they want but i mean that's pretty much what you're going to get out of those guys now that's where you're at uh Rob, not that john cena is any good at acting yeah they're talking about another hollywood sellout but that's another story for another day but yeah <laughs> Rob, a Chinese sellout. yeah hollywood yeah well look the rock is um he's trying to distract from the whole maui thing you know if you don't like what people are saying change the conversation mm-hmm. um which is from mad men um which, which you know uh, advertising you know, knows that to a T uh, public relations knows that to a T. Do you want people to stop, stop talking about or paying attention to this thing? Well, Hey, Hey, let's let over here. Look over here. Oh, Hey, I'm, I'm going to wrestle. But you know, with with you guys saying that it's been 10 years since he wrestled in an actual match, I, I just have my doubts that he's legitimately going to be coming back. I mean, I don't watch wrestling anymore, but I, I remember he he was genuinely one of the most exciting, wrestlers it you know in in wwf's history i mean 
Um, and that's that's a considerable roster of talent. So um, th- he still has not crafted a character in Hollywood that's as memorable or as good as, you know, The Rock, the people's champ. So um, he was great as a heel. Uh, he was great when he kind of turned into a, like, uh, you know, a, what I, not a baby face, but, you know, a good guy, basically, um, you know, against Vince McMahon. So, I mean, it's a shame that he keeps trying to make it work in Hollywood and you know, I guess some of the movies he's been in have made money, but it's never really stuck. I mean, I don't think people have really ever bought The Rock as an action star or a movie star. Um, you know, and now he's kind of, I don't know if he's cozying up to Disney because he just seems to be around Pat McAfee a lot. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. You know, it's um, so I mean, I, I I think it's more sad than anything. But um, yeah, he he's definitely t- trying to distract from that whole Maui thing, which. I mean, I made a like a harmless comment about Oprah, how like you, I mean, anything that's connect she's connected to, you should generally question or, you know, at least look at with a with you know a, a discerning eye, um, and you know this this was a wild accusation apparently, but uh, yeah. whatever. I mean, the woman is a billionaire, so anybody that you know is involved in charitable, um, you know, endeavors, the forefront of like tragedies and stuff like that. It's always like what what's you know, where's that money going? What's behind this kind of thing? So, um, and that's sad. It's sad that, you know, something like charity is manipulated um, or that it's it's diverted and not going to people that need it, um, which is why, you know, charities, in, I'm, I'm very suspicious. Um, so, Naturally. you know, do your research, you know, before you send money. That's all I can say. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, I don't trust any charity that the people asking you to give their money to won't even give a full amount or even like a small handful of their account to. That must just tells you that something else is going on there that we probably shouldn't uh, trust. But uh, Cider, what's your thoughts on this? Uh, you know, it's just more evidence of how these Hollywood yuckamups are in a bubble. Uh, he goes out there, he does this, pays no mind that people are now forking over $7 a gallon in the great state of California. He's, uh, he's not paying any mind to how people are, are suffering out in there in the Bidenomics era, right? Yeah, that he backed. Right, that he was full force for. Remember when he was going to run for president? Oh, yeah. Remember, yeah. remember that young rock predicted programming stuff? Yep, yep. And so this it further it further demonstrates just how insulated from reality these people he goes out there to protect his image rather than issuing an apology and spending time in Maui, taking time away from whatever he's making money on to be there to participate in the reconstruction uh, effort. Or at the very least, like Trump did, do some uh, quarterback throws of paper towels to people who need help, you know, who need supplies. It's yep. no, no, he's got to go out to WWE and immediately erase people's minds of Maui. Not try to get them more help. Not go out there, do the rock thing, and be like, but for real, what I'm really here to tell you about, the rock's what really, what the rock is really cooking is help for Maui. That's right. The, the QR code's right up here on the arena thing. Just scan that right now, unless you're a sucker. By the way, you know? it is funny how he used all these uh, appearances on WWE and ESPN and all these other outlets. He didn't try to raise any money for this cause that he was uh, going all in on a couple weeks ago. It's like, that seems would be a perfect like, opportunity, right? <laughs> almost seems like he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. <it's- laughs>